We're talking special athlete. Mm -hmm. Yep. Former all-time leading scorer for all of women's college basketball. Like the history of women's college basketball. Mm -hmm. Long time. Leading scorer. First overall pick in 2017 WNBA draft. Dang. She's all WNBA, obviously. Multiple-time champion. I think she's representing the country that we live right now. Love that. Ladies and gentlemen, friend of the program, Kelsey Plum. Yeah, yeah. Kelsey! How we doing? <laughs> What's going on, guys? How you doing? Hey, life is good. Where are we right now? I, I heard you're with Team USA. What are you guys doing? What are we preparing for? Where are we? Frozen. Oh. Is it? Uh-oh. Oh, did you lose me? No, 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 no. We all went frozen there for a second there. No worries at all. Where are you right now? What are we doing? <laughs> I'm in Cleveland, baby. I'm here for the Final Four, here for Team USA. We're training for the Olympics. Um, all good things. Okay, so congrats. So you're on the team? We Yes, on the team, <laughs> obviously. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. They haven't announced the team officially uh, till the end of May, I think. Okay, so I knew there was something going on. Well, congrats on making a team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Congrats. No, no, I didn't. You're, you're on the team. <laughs> they didn't announce it. They didn't announce it yet. Yeah, but this is like whenever somebody has a birthday a month from now, mm -hmm. and it's like, hey, just want to get this out. Not Probably not going to see you. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Yeah. This is a congratulations on making a team. Thank you for yeah, representing our country. Congrats. Thanks for representing our country, Kelsey. Joy Perry. Hell yeah. Let's go. Wee, wee. <laughs> wee, wee. Wee, wee. That's what we're talking about. Um, okay, Kelsey, let's talk about the future of the WNBA, which runs through Indiana. Yep. With the Indiana fever. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know we had a little bickering, and uh, I know there were some other conversations with some other sure. Las Vegas Aces, but how do you all feel about Caitlin Clark? Because I assume, especially you, because your record got broken and everything, there could be a sense of, like, hating of Caitlin Clark, or do we appreciate what's happening with Caitlin Clark and women's basketball as a whole through this entire thing, Kelsey? Oh, brother, I have too much to be thankful in life to hate anybody. Um, but I'm Love that. I'm, uh, I'm hyped for her. I think it's great for the game. But I do want to back up, and I want you to tell America what you told me in Indianapolis. What's that? You and your boys. What's that? Uh, oh. During NBA All-Star. Truth. What's that? All the trash, all the trash you were talking. I, well, I, want, you to, I want you to say it say it live here for the people. We're a little boozed up. Sure. Hey, we, we just got done from a pretty good dinner. Yeah, it's 6-7 espresso martinis. What do you want from us? A and piece. We, and we learned just recently before that that Caitlin Clark mm -hmm. was now on our team. Bingo. <laughs> okay. Pistol Pete couldn't hold this lady down. <laughs> no. But now she's on the Indiana fever. So, you know, we run into you, a couple other Las mm -hmm. Vegas Aces, and we had followed along with the back to back bang. WNBA championship. And we might have just said, you know, quickly in the moment or two, like, Hope you hope you had your fun. <laughs> Indiana Fever are now the next ten champions. That's right. That is awesome that we're running this whole thing. <laughs> so that did happen. We would like to say. And also, I got the names. Kelsey, who was sitting right next to me? That was um, Chelsea Gray and Jackie Young. That's right. Mm -hmm. Your mm -hmm. team is all awesome. Jackie Young talks so much shit to me. I, I've mm -hmm. never just immediately <laughs> talking shit to me. And then somebody behind her, uh, I think Bruce mm -hmm. was like, Sabrina is so good all year, and then. She plays against you guys, and she doesn't have her good games. And she just started doing the uh, the popcorn, oh, yeah. eating the popcorn. And I and then I learned that uh, I learned Chelsea Gray, I believe, is is from Indiana, drafted out of Notre Dame, right? I think. That's that's Jackie. That's Jackie. Shit. Okay, you get it. Uh -huh. You get it. These two here. Okay. Awesome. Uh -huh. Very nice. And talking shit to us. You talking shit to us. You being on a show. We're supposed to be Las Vegas Aces fans. Exactly. We're supposed to be. We are supposed to be. But the Caitlin Clark wagon's coming to town. Mm -hmm. And the Caitlin Clark wagon <laughs> is coming to the WNBA. And we're hopping mm -hmm. on board with On the wagon. Yeah, bingo. On the wagon. Yeah, we're on there. And it's our league now. Sorry. Sorry. I, I respect you for being honest. Um what what I love about you is that you just started watching WNBA yesterday. So uh, all the knowledge, Whoa. all the knowledge. We're season ticket holders. Yeah, how about that? Uh, we're good. season ticket. No, we are season <laughs> ticket for <laughs> years. I don't even know what you're even referring. We saw you guys win back up. Yeah, uh -huh. we saw that. We were watching it. We know. We know. Okay. No, no, no. I, I think you should keep the same energy that you have now, and we'll talk at the end of the year. Yeah, well, you're going to see us a couple right. times. Yeah, yes. exactly. We're going to be in the finals. Yeah, September uh, 11th. It's a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. I believe you're coming mm -hmm. to the absolute terrible barn. I mean, just oh. the loudest barn in the WNBA. Yeah. The other lot house. Yeah, the other. Yeah. And, and you're coming here, and we're going to be there. We're, we're season ticket holders. We already said that. So we'll be there. We'll see you.
I can't wait. I can't wait, fellas. When's the season start? When do we start soon, right? We're starting soon? Um, yeah, opening opening night is uh, May 15th. Okay, you guys have a full banner ceremony? Like uh, the NFL has like a ring ceremony on the first night? Does that happen? We do. We have a ring ceremony opening night, um, and they drop the banner. We get our rings. Hopefully this year they're spelled correctly on the ring. Oh, no. Um, Jesus. Just a little what? bit. Just a little bit of a mistake. But that, hey, that happens. You know what I mean? Uh, Mark Davis. <laughs> Good Mark Davis. What, what was spelled wrong? How little? Yeah. How little? Uh, it was, uh, you know, they have uh, your number, your name, and then your position. And it said guard. But I'm dyslexic, so I actually read it properly. But it was read G A U R D. Oh, no. That's, a, that's actually confusing. It's like restaurant. Yeah. That's how Mark Davis spells, though. Right there, what are you going to do? I don't know if he's, he's the one making the <laughs> yeah, ring. Uh, I figure he's the one filling everything <laughs> out for I don't know if he filled out the forms for what you're supposed to do. That might have just been uh, last ring. Yeah, you know, a slip. <laughs> we got to get through this yeah, entire yeah. thing. Just get through it. Yeah, just get through it. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about this March Madness because you brought the point. Mm -hmm. We had different three point lines on one of these. I mean, what, what the hell? This women's March Madness is electrifying. But there's no way in hell that those different three-point lines should ever happen. And then you just talk about the ring being spelled wrong. It feels like women's basketball right now is in a an uptick. You can feel that, I assume. And have women's basketball players always been like, we deserve to be watched more and seen more because everything we're acknowledging right now is kind of happening in, in real time? I think that's a great way to put it. I also think that, um, you know, the game has been very good for a long time, but we're actually seeing, you know, the visibility and we're seeing, you know, games on ABC. We're seeing uh, really high level talent and we're seeing a lot more parity in the women's game. I think in prior years, it was more of like maybe one or two teams that are consistently always at the top. And now we're seeing, you know, people like LSU, they're, you know, they're growing. Obviously, South Carolina has been there. UConn's been there. But then someone like Caitlin, Iowa takes her team consistently to the final four so um it's really cool to see the parody but um you know we've had we've had some really good players in in uh, women's basketball for a long time so i'm just glad that people are tuning in and they they're liking the product and got to keep them coming hell yeah congrats to you all by the way yeah. for making this you know it's yeah. a cool movement that's happening right now legit go ahead aj Kelsey, I believe you uh, you played a few years professionally over in Turkey, and I'm curious about mm -hmm. how that whole how that went, what it was like playing over there, and if is that something that a lot of WNBA players do in the off season? I really appreciate you asking that. I did. I played in Turkey in Istanbul specifically for three years, um, and yeah, we do um, not as much anymore because of the opportunities that companies have been giving us um, in the months that we're out of season to be able to make money in the United States. Um, but hey, I actually loved my experience overseas and built a lot of character. I got to work on my game a ton. Um, and it's hard, you know, you're away from your family and friends, but at the same time, um, when you get back to the United States, you really appreciate it. And, uh, um, you know, I love playing in front of my family here. Um, and so I don't take that for granted every time I step on the court. So that would be like in the off season, WNBA season would lead right into Istanbul season? That's correct. Yeah, I was exhausted. Yeah, I could imagine. I could yeah. fathom that. But I think that was happening because business reasons. You just talked about it in the offseason now, which leads to – go ahead, Connor. Yeah, Kelsey, obviously the big three offer that Caitlin Clark got has been a huge conversation. And to your point right there, like instead of doing the overseas year-round and getting exhausted with – the basketball how did you feel about the big three with caitlin clark offer and do you think there is potential there to do something or it being in the middle of the WNBA season it's just too too much for her to do especially in her first year i mean it's an individual basis but i i know that she's not the only one that's gotten offers Ooh, and oh. i think that it'll it'll be interesting to see um that's a lot of money for only like 10 games i think mm -hmm. yes yep so You'll, you'll see. It'll be interesting because it is an Olympic year. I don't suspect you'll have maybe a high level of like people that go, but in other years, shoot, guys. Wait, hold you on. Know. You just broke some news there, I think, you know, and just kind of, I don't know if you did. <laughs> so you said other people get the offers, but then you also said, hey, that's only 10 weeks because our immediate thought is – can she handle it with the WNBA schedule? Because I think you guys play, what, Wednesday, Friday, Friday Sunday. Sundays. Yep. This would be happening on Saturdays. It's 10 weeks if you win it all, I think, mm -hmm. eight if you just a regular season in that. And we started, like, piecing it together, though. She's probably having a workout at least that day anyways. Would you just supplement the big three game as a workout? You think it's doable. And she's not the only one you think that's potentially going to be doing this in the future or at least think about it? 
I love the way that you're asking this. Um, I will speak for myself. I think that it really just depends on the individual person. Um, but I will say that $5 million is not something to just, uh, you know, wave your, yes. wave your arm. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So 10 weeks, uh, roll the ball out. I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think that, um, the big three, um, and the offer will continue to evolve and we'll see. It, it would be, it would be nice if they coordinated it with the W. So it's a little bit more doable with the travel and everything like that. But at the same time, uh, you got to start somewhere. So it's pretty cool that they're involving this and they're, they're open to new things. Yeah, in the traveling, if you were to put it, because we thought Caitlin was potentially the only one that this was going to take place. Now we're learning from mm. United States of America team member That's representing right. our country. That's right. Champion. <laughs> our champion. Two time. But last time. Yeah, know, last, two time yeah. last time. <laughs> spelled, the, spelled the name wrong on the ring Kelsey last Plum, time. Kelsey Plum, yeah, guard. Yeah, guard. <laughs> Kelsey Plum there. It's like, I didn't even think about other. Now... Okay, I like what I like what Ice Cube's cooking. There's yes, some people yeah. that are pissed off about it, though. It doesn't sound like that's how like people that are potentially actually going to benefit from this are feeling about it. I mean, you guys know how it goes. Everyone that has an attitude about it has never probably even run a business. So to me, like who 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 is someone to you know hate on someone that's trying to do something different? And that's what you have to do. You have to be innovative. You have to be different. And I appreciate him for being a leader and stepping up. And you know. You never know. I think that, uh, like I said, I think time will tell um, how this all shakes out. But um, at the end of the day, basketball is basketball, and we're seeing that, and the fans are seeing that. And so good things to come. What team offered you? Who's, what team did you – which team are you playing for? Is it the – Oh, um, you're, you're so funny. I can neither confirm nor deny. Ah, there, there it is. is. There it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go ahead, AJ. Go ahead, AJ. Uh, I know you say you're, uh, you're there with USA Basketball and everything, and they have not announced the team. So how many – how many girls are there training, and what does the training mean? What exactly does that look like? Yeah, there's uh, 14 women here. Um, there's 12 spots on the roster. Um, and, uh, you know, we've been preparing for this for years, right? So, obviously, Tokyo, because of COVID, was in 2021. So, pretty much for the last three years, we've had, I don't know, maybe a dozen training camps. Um, and there's a committee that picks the team. It's not just one person. Uh, there's a committee from all different uh, you know, there's a WNBA coach, GMs, former players, uh, people with the WNBA. Huh. Um, and so that's how it is. It's a committee, and obviously people have different opinions. But at the end of the day, the United States takes pride in uh, a legacy of winning gold medals, and they're going to put the best 12 on the roster to help our country win a medal. How old were you when you first were in the pool? Oh, I was 21 when I was first in the pool. Wow. That's a big deal, I assume, whenever you get that invite, I would assume. Oh, absolutely. I mean, as a kid, like this is the pinnacle, right? This is what you dream of. This is the best team in the world. Um, and there's a lot of people that have played before you that have really paved the way. And that's another thing, too, which is really cool to see about all this and how the visibility is growing. Because there's so many women that didn't get to reap the benefits of what we're seeing right now. Um, but I always try to acknowledge them because that without them, you know, building the game, growing the game, passing their knowledge down, things like that. You guys know. Yeah, as the former NFL. players. Yeah. Happening in the it, NFL. It matters, man. The, the vets, the leadership, it really does matter. Yeah, and those OGs in the NFL also are saying, these guys are making in one week what I made in five years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they got three new knees, two new hips, mm -hmm. smoking cigs, and have had to work 10 jobs since retiring. But they're like, yeah, it was an honor. It was an honor mm -hmm. to lay the foundation. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It was an honor. <laughs> That's legit. That happens at our – yeah, I'm happy to – yeah. Yeah, it's only going to – as things continue – to grow. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how it's going to go. Speaking of international, though, Ty's got a question for yeah, you. Yeah, staying on the Olympics, Kelsey, obviously, listen, I know they haven't released the team yet. We can cut through all the bullshit. You will be on the mm -hmm. team. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations. You will be in Paris. Awesome. Thank you, you for know, representing our country. Sailing down the Seine for the opening ceremonies. Yeah. But I'm just curious, when we talk about the men's game, like the international rules, I mean, it's the same game, obviously, but it is a little bit different. Ball is a little bit different. And we talked about last Olympics, how like the physicality kind of came back to the, the NBA uh, after the Olympics. Olympics. Is there a big change with like the WNBA rules and international rules for women's basketball? And also, when you do make the team, like, is there any concern about um, like transitioning back to the WNBA in season after the Olympics are over? 
Brother, that's a great question. I really oh, I like appreciate that. you asking that. Hey, Kelsey. So you complimenting yeah. the questions yeah. is next level. Yeah, yeah. we need that. that. The, the yeah. aura. It's like the final boss. Yeah, yeah. it is, brother. Thank you, brother. Hey, you, brother. Yeah. You, brother. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. You sound like the it is. It is good mana. <laughs> yeah, it is great good mana. mana. <laughs> it is good mana. Well, I just appreciate you guys doing your homework. You know, it's not just some like, hey, off the rip. Let's go, man. You guys, real journalism, man. Let's yeah. go. Hell yeah. 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 You know what? Yeah, we've been journalizing <laughs> so hard, dude. Yeah. You should have seen Donnie. Don, Don. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 we're going to get canceled today. Anyways, go ahead, Kelsey. Again? So I, will, I, will tell you, I will tell you that the game is actually very different. First and foremost, in the NBA, there's defensive three seconds. So you can't camp in the lane, which changes – the spacing of everything, right? So in the international rules, if you watch, uh, people just sit in the key. Mm -hmm. And so you're able to have better ball pressure. You're able to uh, be a lot more physical on the ball, which makes getting downhill a lot more difficult, which makes people not have to rotate as much, which makes the shots a lot harder. So if you see in the NBA, people are shooting wide open horse shots because there's no defensive three seconds, or excuse me, there is defensive three seconds. So that changes internationally uh, significantly. And the other thing is, too, is like you said, the physicality. NBA and WNBA, more so NBA, um, it, you can't be super physical on the ball, uh, two hands and stuff. In the, other, uh, in the other countries, in the Olympics, they basically let you play football on the ball. So you're you do have to significantly adjust. So we have an advantage. So USA has an advantage, obviously, because we're the best football place on earth. Yeah, yeah, by far, right? I like how you think. I like how you think. Um, let's let's move. But on. People, you know, let's, <laughs> people, let's people going. aren't let's, used to it, yeah. though. <laughs> people bows. aren't used to that type of physicality. Yeah, exactly. Um, but to answer your question, transitioning back to the W, if anything, w. it's brutal because we we play our last game. Um, and we have like one day, and then we're supposed to play the, fever? the next day. In the the fever? Are you playing the fever the next yeah. day? <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that, we Loss. That, is, that doesn't seem like enough rest time there, especially whenever the international game seems to be much more physical and probably tasking, and you're representing our country. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're representing our country. It doesn't feel like that's the right play. Um, when you talk about physicality, who are the other teams mm -hmm. around the world that we need to – Who do you? who's the – we just got to beat everybody, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll beat everybody by yeah. 50. We yeah. beat everybody Canada. by 50. How's Canada? They good? So bad. Canada sucks. They blow. Come on, go. Uh, Canada, no, well, Canada men's team is phenomenal. Yeah. You see the guys on that Shy team? Shai Gilly. Shai Gilgis, Alexander. Shai Gilly, brother. Now's They're time. really good. Now's our time to be done. Okay. Ah, who cares? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who cares? We're, we're trying to win this thing. Listen, we're, uni we're the United States. We're going to get everybody's best game. So it doesn't matter who you're playing. It's going to be a tough game. People are going to make shots they don't usually make. Like, they play basketball, too. It's not anywhere near as well yeah. as we do. Yeah, Communist well, basketball, yeah, maybe. Mm -hmm. So how USA, 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 USA. All right, uh, Tony has a question for you. Yeah, Kelsey. Obviously, Amy. your transition from college to the W was. Yeah, is that what we're calling it? The <clears throat> W. We call it the yeah. W. We're calling it the W. Yeah. Oh, the w. we're throwing up dubs. Okay. All right. Don't eat those. Jameis Winston once did that in a motivational speech. It did yeah. not work. No. It kind of fell. They lost. W <laughs> fell down on the ground. But I love that it's the W. We knew mm -hmm. that because we're season ticket holders. L, we, were talking, we were talking right. to L the other day about the dub. Yeah, we mm -hmm. bingo. Yeah. And we support mm -hmm. the WNBA. Yeah, yeah. Always. The biggest mm -hmm. investment we could potentially make as a fan, we did. Mm -hmm. We did. Bingo. Courtside season ticket. Every single game. Wow. Look at us. Can't wait. We're we love the W. Yes, we do. You're doing the, doing the Lord's work. Wow, doing the Lord's work. Here well, we go. You guys are out there doing it. Truly. But we're trying our best to help. Anyways, Tony has a question for you. Yeah, obviously your transition was was seamless. We know it was. But how is it like, so you talked about going from the WNBA season, going to Istanbul, how tired you are. Is it similar when you go to college to the WNBA season because there's barely any break there? And then as far as like the game go, what's the hardest part as far as going from college to the W? Oh man, uh, I got cooked my rookie year. What you I sucked? Put, I, I sucked. I got put in the blender. No, we don't believe that. Yeah. No way. Brutal. No, I don't. Brutal. Believe. Absolutely. You were all rookie team. Yeah, yeah. all rookie team. First team. You were all, all rookie, rookie team. team. I watched you. It was seamless. Yeah, what you did with the ball against those people, Seemingly. those shots. Oh my Thanks God! You put shots up. Thanks ball Dave. fell. Everybody was like, "Whoa!" Yeah, that's Steph Curry. Basically. That's what we're talking about. We saw it. You didn't get cooked. You're being a little hard on yourself. Yeah, I think. Um, well, you have to think about it. 
to be the best player in college, you're averaging 30 points a game. Um, it's pretty effortless in terms of like being able to get to the spots you want to get to. Um, the WNBA, there's grown women. It's a grown women's league. Um, just the physicality and the speed of which people close gaps is night and day from college. Also, the IQ is just so much higher. So to answer your question, um, for me to be able to be more of like an all-star level player, it took me four or five years. Four or five years? What do you What do you mean? Because Caitlin Clark's going to win. Yeah. Uh, She's going to come in and be the MVP. Yeah, we don't have four or five years. <laughs> We're season ticket holders next year. Yeah, right? yeah. exactly. <laughs> <That'd> be, <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't think you're fully. I don't think you're no. fully. I think PC. that I think that Caitlin. I think that Caitlin. Um, what people don't talk about is uh, mentally, she's an absolute beast. So I think that is going to help her more than anything uh, because it's not if you fail, it's when you fail and how how able you bounce, like your bounce back, your resilience. Yeah. So I, K- Caitlin, Caitlin will be she will be great. She can shoot it from deep, and she can pass. All those things will really, really help her at the next level. Um, but don't get me wrong; there's always a transition period. There, I've heard. Just birdie in my ear, okay? Talk ba- to me. Basketball insider. In Ooh, ear. okay. Oh, really? Basketball insider. Through Zito's phone, through Zito's mouth, into that microphone. Somehow, which we don't understand. No, yeah. How does that work? Yeah, yeah. I mean, airplanes. I have no, airplanes about. flying. How let, does that work? Yeah, let alone mic pack. I have no clue how. Magnet. FaceTime. It's so clear. Internet. Yeah, she, yeah. satellite somewhere. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Anyways, came through here, yeah. through this thing, right into here. That's weird. I didn't know you wanted to be a part of the uh, WNBA, NBA three-point shoot, maybe? Sean Sharani just told us to ask about that. Because that's seemingly gaining traction because of the success it had this past season with Steph and Sabrina. Are we going to make that a thing, All-Star Weekend? Because we did see, basically, your entire team was there. Yes. It, it feels like it's a big NBA family, w, the W family mm-hmm. kind of gathering. It would make sense to make that bigger. Is that is that true, what Sean Sharani is saying? Or is he lying again like it's the draft? Hmm. Yeah, Sean, I think he pulled out of thin air, but... Oh, oh Sean! 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 We don't know your... Uh, we don't know, like, who you're citing your sources, but I will say that um, I think that they saw how entertaining that was. And Sabrina is one of the best shooters in the world. She can hold her own against anybody, man or woman. So I do think that we have a lot of really good shooters in the W. I would not be surprised if we did a little bit more of like a, a mixed group, maybe mm-hmm. like five players from the W, five players from the NBA. Um, I think it'd be really cool. But that's the first, to be honest, I think, Pat, I'll give you credit. Let's give Pat some credit. He just made that up. No, 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 that was Sean. Sean. We did the whole thing. Sean made that up. Sean, Sean did, yeah. I didn't know if it was up. real. That's why I, I am very okay not getting credit for things. Believe me. Yeah. I say a lot of things into here. I'm okay not getting credit for stuff. That was from Sean Sharon. <laughs> yeah. That, that was, <laughs> Sean has never done that. No insider. Either. Sean has never, never Except just dropped for... in the middle of conversation. He wants a little, he wants a little Kelsey Plum Rob. Yeah. yeah, what's Sean? Yeah, what's today? Sean? Sean Sharonia. Oh, ah, out there Sean. cooking. But I like the fact that you en- enjoy the concept of it. And if they're going to do it, Adam Silver, let's give a million dollars to each person. Yes. yes. On the winning team. There you go. Right. If this three-point shooting content, right? Whew. I, I mean, shoot, I love it. Let's let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, AJ. Go ahead, AJ. Kelsey, we have a, a few friends that have torn their Achilles over the last year or so. I believe you tore yours three, four, five years ago, and you've been on a tear ever since you got it recovered. You you know have recovered, and you've been out there still killing it. What was that recovery like, and how does it still feel now to this day? Oh man, uh, that was a blessing from God. It was like I got to start over. You know, I kind of like got to start from scratch um, and I changed everything. Uh, obviously, my physical like makeup, um, but then also just mentally and spiritually, just be able to be realigned and um, just kind of attack it from the jump. Now, I was blessed to be able to do it during COVID when life kind of stopped. Mm. I didn't really miss much, um, but I, I like to this day when people get hurt, or I always encourage them and say, hey, this will be the best thing for you if you allow it to be. Um, 
And so even when Aaron tore it, I was almost like, hey, man, like this guy's going to come back and he's going to do great things. Now, I don't know what they're doing with him. Did he get a kangaroo Achilles or something? Whoa. Like, I, don't, I didn't have that Did type of. Did he? I didn't have that type of. Well, you're breaking but, news uh, now. Who, who's yeah, your kangaroo. source? Is that Sean Sharani? <laughs> yeah. Is that Sean Sharani telling you we're going with marsupial? Yeah. Did Sean tell you that? What the yeah. What they take a kangaroo. Yeah. Are you just Achilles? making that up? Let's give her credit. Let's give yeah. Kelsey credit. Yeah. She's yeah. made it up. <laughs> She's go. made it up out of, out, of, out of thin air there. Okay, let's talk about the Final Four here. That's going to be taking place. Feels like all the stars are still around. When you watch that South Carolina team, what do you mm -hmm. see? Whenever you watch the Iowa team, what do you see? Like, what are your thoughts on how we're going forward here this weekend as we watch a thrilling Final Four once again for the Women's March Madness? South Carolina has depth, um, and, and uh, they rebound the ball at such a high level. I don't see them uh, losing games just because they can have an off shooting night, but they make up for it defensively and uh, the way they control the board. So I would have to say overall, it might be South Carolina, but this is when great players just step up to the plate. And we have a ton of great players. Um, NC State has two guards that are pro ready right now. They're absolute beasts. Um, and then of course, you know, Iowa, you guys know, I don't need to, I don't need to say anything about them. You talking um, about the Indiana UConn? Fever? Mm -hmm. You talking about the Indiana Fever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. But, that's all. But UConn, uh, UConn is somebody that's just resilient, and they got a great uh, game plan and scheme. And, you know, Paige is, Paige is the real deal. Paige is the real deal, and she's ready for this moment. So, to be honest, I think we're going to get two really good games, guys. That's awesome. The March Madness, the women's March Madness the last two years has been – Fantastic. Mm -hmm. like, Incredible. Now, granted, we use, we've use we watched for yeah. years and years. I'm 36. For decades. So yeah, decades. 2016. Yeah. So we know what we're talking about when we talk about it, especially whenever it comes about this particular thing. Amen. Uh, but we do appreciate you coming in here and, uh, you know, maybe enlightening us on some things. Clarifying what, yeah. what we know. Yeah, well, we're already here. Well, we already are You're saying. reaffirming the, our thoughts. Bingo. Triple stamp and a yeah. double stamp. Exactly. Yeah, making us feel like we've been right all along, yeah. which mm -hmm. we appreciate. Which we have. Yeah. What's, what's the rest of the day look like? Rest of the day, guys, I'm about to take a good nap, mm -hmm. uh, then get up and uh, go socialize. Nice. You go shake those hands, Kelsey. Mm -hmm. I'll go shake those hands. You're a champion, but for how much longer? Yeah. I mean, what, I guess what, four, five, six months, and then, and then that's yeah. all she wrote for the Aces. Oh, then there's a fever. Yeah. And the only prescription. <laughs> <laughs> it's game and All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Kelsey Plum, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think that does it. Pretty good show today. Hell yeah. So, hey, so Kate, is Caitlin on? She's on the Olympic team, right? So I think she was supposed to be. So if yeah, it, that's probably why it's May. That she they will, don't make yeah. the selection still because the season ends on. I was wondering, are they in? Cle uh, it was a really dumb thought for a second. Are they in Cleveland because? Uh, yes, I assume that they have the training camp around. But there, events. but there's no way those schools are letting Paige and Caitlin. No, 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 no. no. Caitlin said she was. She said if they wouldn't have made the Final Four, she would have went to the training camps.